that's why we are here. He is a man full of love. He is a man of life. Very well. That's what I'm saying. Brother, I don't like to Just like he says, it is how the uh, Qatar eats. It's all, always loving keeping. And the brother would have the best answer. And anything happened, he contributed fully. This is how we live from him. Now and forever more. Amen. Likewise, mm -hmm. my brother can say, he say, Father, you always take care of your children. When we see you at the church, we call you, ah, my daughter, why don't you come to the church? We always appreciate the members of the Beto and they always contribute to all the financial aspects. They always do belong. They will miss him. <laughs> so we miss him. So it's our daddy, he's a good man. Even the neighbor community is a good man. Wow. It's one of the outstanding children of this community who selflessly labor and work for the community. He contributed a lot to the development of this, this community. When he was chairman of the Nimbi Council of Chiefs, and uh, we had been doing such a separate service to the community until uh, the last last year. I'm his first man, and I love him so much. He was a very good man. They said, so though sometimes we have our ups and downs as human beings, but I still thank God for being his daughter. And even if I have another world to come to, it's possible if you come back, I still want to have him as my father. I enjoyed him when I did. So now he's late. I'm so what are your advice to the younger ones that are looking at you? The younger ones, all I'm trying to tell them is that we should put our heads together. We should forget about the um, different models. One thousand and eighty four in front of the government. February, and we remain that. In unity, we should remain. We miss Papa too much. We already miss him. Me, I never knew that one day he would die. <laughs> but when you come to look at it now, it's the reality. Whenever I go, I come back and see me in place. But that's come to the point that God has done. Thank God for you. I said him not to 86 years. It's not easy. I hope uh, every one of us amongst the children will get that 86 years. Already I'm 60. Okay. Okay. We don't have to waste it on God because He gives and He takes. You know? As a great child, I remember when my dad was. My uncle is born in the year 1000 and I thought you should give him 80 years. But God now added more 60 years to the 80 years He desired. So it's a plus on the long side. That's one. Two, Papa lived a life by the way of emulation. That's why everything has been peaceful. Even though very was waited for this long period to be held, but at last it has come, or it is coming to pass. What we have not entered is a body to mother it because Papa was a father to all. It's not because he's dead that I'm saying it. He's a, he was a father. If I may even still use present tense, he's a father to all. To all, when I mean to all, as a grown child, 
So he embraced all and he reached out to people in the way he could as I wrote my treatment. He will help. So the answer that you even be wondering to say, what is doing for these people like this? And uh, sometimes we, we are deprived of some things we need because we will try to reach out to those people. So all I have to tell those of us living, including myself, is to emulate these good ones. We know that nobody wants to have it. To go, we are going to bury my father. Huh? As I said earlier, there is a child to be born on a time to die. You better go. Most of the siblings that we are alive, I came to see. <laughs> Ah, Kenala, Opogbu.